pre-makeup and hair, 14-year-old Sofia Meshner looks her age as she prepares to hit the catwalk to show off Dior's 2016 Spring Summer Collection. The Israeli model's young age has reignited the debate over underage modeling in this cutthroat industry. I feel ready, and I'm not alone. I'm being looked after closely. They're treating me really well here. Everything I ask for is being taken care of. They help me. So the fact that I'm 14 years old is not really an issue. The new face of Dior grew up in a rundown neighborhood with her single mother who juggled part-time jobs to make ends meet. She was uh, cleaning houses with her mother. So if she's not too young to clean houses, I don't think she's too young to walk on a show. The young girl's agent said a chaperone was with her 24 hours a day, sleeping in the same room as her and going with her to auditions and shows. Responding to the controversy herself, the model said that fashion nudity was about art and not about sexuality. Chanel recently recruited 16-year-old Lily Rose Depp, daughter of Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradis, for its eyewear campaign. Chanel creative director Karl Lagerfeld is pragmatic. The public wants to see them on, on girls like this. Huh? They can identify, even if it's not the same uh, age group, uh, that, that the girls of the moment, you know. Huh? Fashion is about the moment. I'm an opportunist, a fashion opportunist, but there's nothing bad about that because that's our business. Huh? The use of young models in fashion is not new. Kate Moss was scouted when she was 14 and Naomi Campbell when she was just 15. However, there have been industry moves to change this, notably during the biannual catwalk shows. The British Fashion Council has introduced new guidelines, as has New York State. So all of the designers that are contracted to show London Fashion Week, um, must all of the models must be age 16 or over. And um, we think that's really important. Uh, we work closely with the agencies. If there's a young girl that's here for the first time, they'll certainly they'll be chaperoned. Some designers insist that the real issue is not age, but health. The fashion industry has often been accused of promoting anorexia when using underweight models. I think that the important thing is that we don't encourage young girls to be too thin. So that's the health. And in terms of the youth, we, we encourage not to have girls under 16 on the, on the right way, and more important, to feed them. Pressure has mounted to move away from the ultra-slim look. In April, France introduced an amendment banning excessively thin models. However, French model Emeline Vellard said most designer houses often use models without curves for fitting reasons. You've got to know that they don't have time to perfectly fit the clothes, and on a girl with curves it's hard to fit them because it takes time. It takes at least 24 hours for just one look, but a girl who has no curves, you can put on the clothes and they just fit well. While some young models are often skinny because they're still growing up, many adult models admit there should be some rules concerning models' age. I think you should start modeling at 18. I mean, that's the age I started at, but I think even when I look back to when I first started, I was lucky I had Burberry to take care of me because I had that exclusive, so I was with them every day. But if not, I can't imagine like going all around the world on your own and it would be so much pressure. You know, you do get, you do get scrutinized, you do get disappointments, and that's very hard to say when you're 14 or 16. 18, you're a little bit more experienced, but even at 18, I was saying, you know, I, I was probably ready by 21, 22. While most people understand that fashion is an industry based on deception, on the promise that if you wear this, you will look cooler, thinner, or taller than you really are. The danger is the pretense that these girls are older, wiser, and more seductive than they can possibly be at that age.